Hi, in this video I want to talk about something that's been exciting me quite a bit since the last few months. The Axolotti. I first discovered Axolotti during an Indiegogo campaign, but now it's fully funded and anybody can buy the board for less than $70. The board, you say? Exactly, because I'm talking about this. The Axolotti core is based on a 168 MHz STM32F4 microcontroller. It also includes a high-resolution stereo ACD-DAC with stereo jack connectors and a full MIDI support, either by a USB host, MIDI DIN or both. It also offers 16 input or output solder pads for expanding the hardware as much as you like. You can have pots, switches, buttons, light sensors. For example, here I have 12 pots, a few buttons, a few switches, and I can assign it to whatever I want in the patch. But you don't have to, you can also just use the board, hook it up to your computer, make the patch, take it off, put some electricity into it, and then you've got a fully fledged whatever you've made. So it can be a reverb, it can be a distortion, it can be a synthesizer, it can be a sequencer, it can be whatever you really want it to be. And you can really go wild with some clever multiplexing. You can end up with loads and loads of faders, buttons in all directions, and make that dream box that you have in your head. And then you just need to get into the software and make this box into millions of boxes, really. It's, well, endless. But this is only half of the project. Let's go and see the software to see how all this works. OK, so Axolot is now plugged into my computer. I launched the software and I'm going to make a new patch. So, new. Um, a keyboard is plugged into my Axolity, so the first thing I'm going to go and fetch is a MIDI in so that I can play my keyboard and hear what's going to happen. So, MIDI in keyboard, then an oscillator, sign, and another oscillator sign. Then I'm going to put um, a multiplier. So, I'm going to multiply it by a constant, so I'm going to put another multiplier one in the other. This is kind of a phase modulation feedback machine. Um, then a small mixer to mix out the outputs. And then to make this fun, let's put a VCF filter and a VCA. And to control my VCA, I need an envelope. So envelope, I'll put an ADSR. I can put an envelope anywhere. I could probably put an envelope on the filter, on the pitch, anywhere. This is just for my amplitude. Envelope controlled by the gate of my keyboard. And then all this to the audio out. Stereo. Let's give this a listen. Put it live, and this is me pressing on my keyboard. So change the envelope, open up the filter, lower the volume a bit. And now let's start multiplying one by the other. So this is a monophonic patch, but I can make it polyphonic quite easily. I just need to take all this important thing, not the audio out, because I'm going to use this in the main patch. So take this, cut it, 
now get the object patch patcher, for example, patch patcher. Edit the patch of the patch patch. Paste all this back in. Just put an audio out. Lit, so it's an out lit. And I want to make these visible later on. So I press parameters on parents, and that way I can have a look at it afterwards. And then save this. Just after going view settings, making the sub patch polyphonic. Okay, so that's done. Save this. Close this and now update it, and that's it. My patch has become a polyphonic, polyphonic capable synth. So let's say eight voices go live and. <laughs> But it's not only for synths, you can also make effects. For example, here I'm going to use a reverb and a delay and just patch it onto my synth, but you can also patch it onto the audio input. So there we are. Let's listen to it now with these effects. And it's just as easy to assign the knobs that you've soldered onto the solder points of the board. So for example, if I go and edit this, um, my filter, I want to control it with a knob. Well, I've already soldered a pot onto, I'd say it's a PC4, and I have to change my signal to bipolar. Now if I save this, update it, and let's play around with a knob. Let's delay a bit down. Pump up the res. I'm turning a real, a real knob in real time here. So this is just 0.1% of what you can do. There's sequences, there's so much inside. It's up to you to really imagine what you want to make out of it. So please have a look on the website and if you're interested, buy one and just have fun. Thank <laughs> you.